Opening day at the state legislature, and if lawmakers agreed on one thing on this 26th opening day, it's the fragile state of Hawaii's economy. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. The challenge ahead, creating more jobs, cutting government red tape, and finding ways to curb cost when it comes to health care and pension plans. KITV4's Catherine Cruz tells us how lawmakers plan to tackle all those issues. Low-key and all business was the tone on opening day. With a billion-dollar shortfall behind them, lawmakers pledged to roll out a bipartisan initiative to invest in state facilities. The plan, tackle repair and maintenance construction projects that they say will define this legislative session. This bill will have two primary objectives. One, to aggressively cut in the state's multi-billion dollar deferred repair and maintenance backlog. And two, it would immediately create jobs for local residents. Senate President Sutsui says the intent is that the projects would be in all 255 public schools and all 10 of the University of Hawaii campuses and all state hospitals. Republicans want to focus efforts on improving the state's business and investment climate and renew the call for accountability and transparency. The era of government free spending of other people's income is over. Sloam also called for a reversal on Oahu's transit project to put the money where we need it most, on basics like roads, harbors, parks, and water systems. Stop the $6 billion plus heavy steel on steel, elevated rail, train to nowhere, which we made possible years ago and which diverts taxpayer money from sensible and desperately needed infrastructure repair. Lawmakers in the House made it clear they're not keen to new taxes for residents and businesses and do not support any expansion of current state programs. The economy is in a fragile state. It is growing. There is a recovery, but not as um, um, you know, strong as we would hope it would be. Oshiro acknowledged there are still some unknowns about the costs of labor contracts for public workers and growing fears about underfunded state pensions and escalating health care costs. Now, of course, you have to remember that this is a very big election year with every single seat in the Senate and the House up for grabs. 76 lawmakers up for re-election, not necessarily looking for lots of controversy. Could be a very quiet session. Paula?